Reinhardt is a hero rich with little tricks and techniques. Being the most melee heavy hero in all of Overwatch, good Reinhardt players must learn every trick in the book in order to outplay their enemies both at a distance and also when it is hammer time. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if this video helps you out so you don't miss any future content. So let's get started with tip number one, shield dancing. While not the most elegant dance the world has ever seen, this is a great trick for when looking to close the gap on enemies quickly, while still blocking a good amount of spam damage. Shield dancing, or rather shield hopping, simply means to repeatedly jump as you run toward your enemies, and every time you are airborne, activate your barrier. This will afford you around 50% barrier uptime while you approach your enemies, while barely slowing down your movement speed at all. This is a particularly useful technique for when speeding quickly to an objective to force a fight when on attack. An example might be when attacking an assault map like Hanamura, objective B. By pushing quickly onto the objective, you can force some enemies to drop down from the high ground to contest. The two main things to remember when shield dancing are to do it with purpose, meaning you are benefiting from the increased mobility by pushing forwards. And secondly, you are not facing enemy snipers. The last thing you want to do is allow a Widow headshot to sneak past your barrier and dome your innocent and defenseless Moira. Use shield dancing to gain ground quickly. Otherwise, shielding your allies the old-fashioned way will do just fine. Tip number two, canceling swings. While in the middle of a hammer swing, you are actually able to cancel the melee animation at any time simply by right-clicking. Many Reinhardt players know this, however fail to exploit it. When dueling an enemy Reinhardt, you can bait out his Earth Shatter by dropping your shield, swinging the hammer, then reactivating the shield as soon as the melee swing has landed. This is because the damage from the hammer swing is dealt very early into the animation. This allows you to land some chip damage while also ensuring that your Reinhardt Nemesis will have a hard time getting an Earth Shatter past you with the added bonus that he may try to earth shatter and waste it entirely. Other than that, this tip is great for most close range duels. So you should definitely spend some time in practice to learn the exact timing of the melee swing. Again, the idea is to allow the animation to continue until the precise moment the hammer connects and deals damage. Then toss up your shield once more. Tip number three, punting enemies. Reinhardt's hammer swing will, of course, knock its victims slightly in a certain direction depending on the direction of the swing, kind of like a giant baseball bat. This means that you can disrupt enemy positioning simply by holding down your left click and clubbing your target from side to side. However, a better way of doing this sometimes is to left click your target one swing at a time. This means you will always knock your target to the left. This can be super powerful for displacing an enemy Reinhardt or knocking an overextended enemy deeper into your team, denying his escape. It will also allow you to avoid accidentally knocking fleeing enemies further afield, thus aiding their escape. So consider where your enemies are standing, where they want to be standing and how you can interfere with their plans. The most difficult part about this trick is actually remembering to use it and avoid the maddening urge to simply hold down your left click and earn your place in Valhalla. But it is a subtle trick used by the pros which sets them apart from the rest. Tip number four, countering McCree. Any McCree player worth his salt will be itching to rush your barrier and flashbang over the top of the shield at the earliest opportunity he can see. And it is your job to be ready for this. Now. You can answer an advancing McCree with a kind of flick shield where you activate the barrier and snap it upwards very quickly to block the incoming flashbang. And this can work just fine if you feel you are in the enemy McCree's head and can pull this player off. However, the safest way to go about this is simply to tweak the angle of your barrier by default when facing McCree. You can aim the barrier upward and hold it there. And if you do this at just the right angle, the shield will still be extending all the way down to the ground, while also forcing McCree to push in extremely far to toss the flashbang over the realigned barrier. Of course, if he does this, you can raise the shield even higher still as shown in the flick shield example, and McCree's eagerness to land the stun 
will often get him killed. Tip number five, countering Graviton. Being caught in a Graviton is no fun for Reinhardt, and many Reinhardt players struggle with what exactly they should be doing while stuck in a Grav. Well, in most cases, you simply want to be holding up your barrier, as this will force enemies to pour a ton of damage and resources into the Grav in order to secure kills. In the off chance that you can keep most of your team alive, great. If not, well, it's likely that the enemies spend one or two DPS ultimates alongside the Grav. So just die and regroup for the next fight. Now, if you have Earth Shatter ready when you get caught in a Graviton Surge, should you use it? There is no clear-cut answer for this. However, you should definitely be on the lookout for a big hammer down while caught in the Grav. If you can stun three or more enemies, then hold up your barrier, there is a good chance your team can survive through the Graviton. This is particularly true against teams with an enemy Reinhardt. And this is because the enemy Rhine is very likely to drop his shield to fire strike or melee swing into the Grav. This can give you an amazing shot at saving your team from a wipe with a Think Fast Shatter. And finally, tip number six, barrier with purpose. This has been touched on in earlier tips, but for any new Reinhardt players out there, this is by far the most important tip. And if you take only one thing from this entire video, let it be this. There is no utility in standing in a choke with your barrier activated while enemy defenders mercilessly rain down damage. Just like there is no utility in blocking the long-ranged poke damage of one or two enemies like Soldier or Baby Diva, your barrier charge is a valuable resource and should not be wasted under any circumstance. Instead of blocking tiny amounts of poke damage, or worse yet, standing stock still in a choke while absorbing huge amounts of damage, Use your barrier resource with a goal in mind. Some goals could be using your barrier to push through a choke point and reach cover on the other side. To block an enemy ultimate, which means never letting your barrier resource hit zero so it is always ready to use when you need it. Or to protect a teammate like McCree while he pops his dead eye. In short, never use your barrier if simply taking cover behind a wall will do just fine and avoid standing still with your barrier up while attacking. Your barrier is how you are going to push forward, after all. As with all of the tips and tricks videos here, they have been sourced from our course to Reinhardt on Game Leap Overwatch, drawn from the brain pool of pros like Skipjack and Coach Rind. I've been Tom from the Game Leap team. Do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any Reinhardt tips that we did not cover here, help out your fellow Crusaders by posting a comment down below. I will see all of you guys in there and look forward to replying to some of your comments. So thanks for watching, have a great day, be nice to your teammates, and we will catch you all in the next video.